Hello and welcome, my name is Neil Outs and this is episode 23 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio with Bob's Mods and Angel's Mods. As you can see at the top of the screen, I would like to dive into the phenolic boards. This is basically just to uh, reiterate the process. I am yearning for this one. This is really, this is the red circuits in the normal overview. And in order to do that, I need the circuit boards. And in order to do that, I need the phenolic boards. So I'm going to do the phenolic boards and circuit board. Actually, I should call it circuit. This is called electronic basic, 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 right? Basic board. And this one should be circuit board. Yeah. So I'm going to rename it to circuit board. But anyway, the first thing I want to do is the phenolic board and I, what I have done is I've taken the iron, the wood I have down here for my basic circuits and now I'll call this one circuit boards yeah whatever and I'll just pipe it all the way up so I can still use it up here then I figured that this might be a good place to use because I also need to make chlorine chlorine comes from iron ore and iron ore comes from something and that could have just as well be piped in from there Anyway, so let's start out with uh, the very first thing. The very first thing, okay, I also just uh, brought some of these along that I can always use for making easy iron ore. I haven't really decided yet. Anyway, I want to start as far down as possible. So, hello little car, I can't remove you entirely because you're full of stone, uh, stone bricks that I need. The first thing I want to do is phenolic bolts that requires wood and resin. All right, all right. Um, this needs to go really fast. So both wood and resin. Resin needs to be cooked. Ooh, I can get it from NAFTA. That's pretty damn cool. I do. I want that. Hmm. I should probably done that actually. But anyway, I need the uh, the wood. I get a synthetic wood. All right. I'll do it from the wood. This takes one second. So let's get some of this one. So this is resin. Yes, I thought actually that was going to be cooked. That is one per one. And this one is going to use one per half a second. So that's actually two to one. What about the wood? What is the situation with that? Uh, what? There. That's two per half seconds. So that one matches. I mean, it actually kind of means that looking at something like this, I would have to do two of these for one of those. And that would need to be inserted into a phenolic board. That phenolic board. There. This one is piped in here. This one is piped the other way. And now that one works. And that also covers everything except the fact that it does not cover. I'm just contemplating whether this is correct. I'll, I'll try it like no, 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 it's not working. These are too close. So if I work out here, here, that one's not covered. Up here, that one's not covered. Down here, that's an interesting bit, and that's not covered. Maybe, maybe something like this. And then is it a repeatable pattern? Oops. Yeah, it's it's not from this one. This one still needs I still need more pylons than I should in order to do this. Like like so. But at least now it's hooked up. Let's um let's try this nonetheless. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Did I get it? No. Copy, paste. And then let's get one. I think this 
the middle one needs a lot faster but really not it, it actually needs to be outputting faster than it's inputting so it's not there that the capacity will be lacking I could also just do something like this and then put these in the middle there and there but then I have the output issue anyway this one will be creating then phenomenal balls rather efficiently from just pure uh, pure wood I like that let's let's see how that goes how fast it actually is picking up there's also there's also another option I think I like that better uh, let's get the hell out of all of this Oh, no, 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 stop. Always take the inserters out first. The idea is that first I create however many I want. Let's say I want I don't know, eight of them. Then I want four. So this one will be only wood. There because this is fast and this will be then be output on a belt that somehow catches all sorts of crap then I will put these in one two right, so this is the next eight ah you know what I'll actually one two three four I'll also create more of these for sure. Was it the iron that disappeared? Yes, it was. Iron is really in short supply here. So in order to do six, I need 12. That's eight. Ten, eleven, twelve. Great. I'm not sure it can carry all of this, but I'll give it a shot. And. Then I need to carry this. All right, I'm really focused here. And okay, I need to use these ones. LN. That will lengthen it in both directions. And of course, I need to ins to make this uh, uh, obviously better with under and over, underground, over, under, over, under. And I copy these. I like this setup much better. This is the phenolic. Oops. Phenolic board. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not very much of them. But it, it is outputting fast. So this one is going to be the resin. Right, and that's also a much more normal setup with these two. Yeah, and I need now need a lot of these. And this one will be a near inserter. Copy, paste, paste. So that's. That part taken care of, and then I need to hook this up to piping there. All right, that's the first part. Then I need that's all we can do, like this, and 
I need to remove this one because this, this is not a good output. Much better output. And I'll just pipe it upwards just so that the next whatever I build will be ready. Let's build them like this. And this requires outputs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's you make, you're going to be near, 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 and near. Great, so that should be up and running. I don't know if that works, but it's generating pretty damn fast. These are quite fast. That's excellent. We now have Fenoli ports. That is something I will definitely pipe up all the way up to my export here. Like this. That is one export. Now, the next export I really want from this one, I mean, the simplest thing would be just taking this, but I think I actually want uh, to go a bit crazy here and actually try to make this one, which means I need ferric chloride solution. I don't think that's very difficult to make. That's the real, that's the real one I make. need. Ferric chloride solution, that one. It is in, yeah. It's in a chemical plant that I do not have. And I cannot create it because I'm somehow and always missing missing iron here. Where is it? You are there. Okay. Well, that should keep me covered. That's 15 of these. Let's say. I just made one of them, right? All right, this looks very stable. All right, let's get one and just figure out what you're doing. You're new making ferric chloride solution. You are needing two things, iron ore. These are really nasty things, to be perfectly honest. Iron ore is not easy to come by and hydrogen chloride gas is not easy to come by. Hmm, not sure I like this. I mean, maybe that's too much to put in one square and I should just suffice with this and then go crazy with it instead. And that actually makes it phenolic, makes it absolutely correct. I will, however, ah, yeah, that's definitely not what I wanted there. I like this. This is very small. This is very simple. I can make another one, and I should probably make another one, which means this one, yeah, it doesn't matter. Phenolic balls, plenty. Let's try and work on it, and then I maybe I decide to put it somewhere else. Let's start by making chlorine. Lithium chloride, it's here, no. It's all the way over there. That is this one. First, I need some salt water, saline water, and then I need to <laughs> split it, siphon off the hydrogen, uh, sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, chlorine and hydrogen. Okay. Hmm. Sodium hydroxide. Why is it that sodium hydroxide? This one I have created and it's not doing anything. So nothing there. I will, however, need to make a few cleaning plants. That's this one. That's where we need the stone blocks for, and luckily I brought my car full of stone blocks. One, two. Don't think this is enough, actually. Well, I already had a few, so four, that's definitely enough. I can... I'll just try building it down here. That should definitely be quite a bit. So, you are going to output here. And I also need more of these pipes. And I actually think I need a lot of pipes there, 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 and there. And then we'll take the bendy or the under, over, under in the meantime. So that's that sorted. This will be the saline water. 
this is all fine and dandy I think there and here these are now producing and we need to keep working on this there are two options here that one that's the one we need in this case actually this one is the one we do not need it's the one we need and this is the one no it's actually the opposite over here let's just see this one is the one we need here this is the part we do not need it goes here and I guess it needs to be a tight to this part yeah this is where it then gets voided do I have that void thing I have three of those so that should be fine You know what? I think I can actually put them in here. There. All right. So that goes to that location, goes up again to this location where I'll have another clarifier. Can I have three clarifiers in a row? I can actually have three clarifiers in a row in this space, and I definitely will because that's probably what is needed don't know I'm also worried that I'm just gonna be taking all of the iron or all of the yes okay all all the water it's not iron it's water and here and here so it definitely needs to go under and up otherwise it's gonna break no it's actually supposed to go there damn it okay that one and that one and then the question is that's connected here this one let's get this up and away this is as far as it can get let's just chest no nope. can also do this there so this is now clarifying what this is clarifying the purified water it kind of seems silly to clarify purified water just to get some saline water like a tiny bit and it looks like I cannot even keep up with this and all the saline water is just filling up in the meantime anyway next part of the equation is coming back to no chlorine here that's in the first one is in a something something with six dots on it that's a something something with six stunts on an electrolyzer or electrolyzer MK2. We'll take the electrolyzer MK2. Let's take two of them. Don't know how fast it works. Let's build them here. Then hook them up. You can split this saline water. Oops, I actually got a better idea. I'll take the hydroxide and drill it. I'd take it upwards as well because I might actually want that for something else so here and here is probably the safest so that gives me a lot of each of them and I will adjust this great and can I just I can hook it up here. This, based on experience, things just jam because of this. And I need to put in a flare stack as well. 
and an overflow valve. I have that, but I need a new flare stack. The reason for the flare stack is actually that I'm generating too much uh, hydrogen. So I need to put a flare stack on the hydrogen. First, I need to hook these up together. And at this point, I'm starting to think, uh, wasn't there something about I really shouldn't be using iron pipe for everything? Especially when I'm bemoaning the lack of iron, then it's probably not the smartest thing. I will then take an overflow valve here, and that will be put in a flare stack that I'll place like this. And it looks better. Okay, and also hook it up. That's just flaring everything until until this is 7.4, because when it hits above eight, because it can carry 10, so above eight, then it'll start flaring it. Great, that's so much, so far so good. That means now we need to recombine it in several of these. Two, three, four, five, or I, maybe I should get it the other way around. Something like this. one, two, three, four. And they can't be this close when there are two outputs or two inputs. Then there has to be one between them. And this one will then make hydrogen chloride gas. Which again needs a hell of a lot of these. Let's get some more iron. As always, more iron is always better. Okay, I think we're doing well. I think that this part is a big fat chemical plant that maybe doesn't belong with the phenolic boards, but on the other hand, it might actually kind of ish. So this one is definitely gonna be here. I have no idea if this is too much or I know that it's probably too much, but I'd also rather want to go crazy on this. I can't put it here. I have to put it here. Oops, don't be in the way. This clicking repetitively is just me wishing I had some hat blueprints, but there's no way, of, well, I can make the, or I can't, I can't make the blueprints because that's like electronic circuit boards. like this. All right, so far so good. We will hook this up. And what comes out needs to be put into barrels, for sure. That's the only real sane way of doing this. Where's the chlorine gas? Stop flaring it. Ah, uh, okay, I got it. Sorry, I need to flare it over here. Otherwise, I'll flare it too early. It'll never be able to pump all of this out. It should be pumped there. That's an overflow valve. And this one is, everything is piped and this is fine. Great, so what are you doing? You are having some of, oh yes, yes indeed. Like quite of an essential point here. This one should not be flaring anything just now. And now the next part is, I'll just combine the whole damn thing here. This will be fine. And let's, do I want to put it into boxes right now? I think I kind of do, don't I? Or maybe not. Let's just think. Now I have the hydrogen. Uh, that's the hydro hydrogen chloride gas. That's some nasty stuff. And we need some ferric chlor ferric chloride. That one. That's now again a solution. But that's the one I want to put in. That requires iron ore. So how do I get iron ore in the most easy manner? I'll do that from this one. I think this episode will go a bit long. Let's get another sorting facility. That one. 
So let's get two sorting facilities up here. One, two. You'll be sorting this one. And do I have some boxes like this? Yeah, I have some pretty decent sized boxes. <clears throat> But I really want to keep track of, of my stuff, right? So like this. Let's put these into boxes here. I'm missing my input. Damn it. This is no good. No good at all. Input. Four input. Two outputs. Two outputs here. And then into the... I think I need to leave that one empty. Here. And I kind of also... there there and there great so which ones these are inputs and then I have my outputs up here or oh, those are my wastes and that requires these ones nope nope So this one is okay let's copper copper ore and this is slag copper paste 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 copy paste and down here we have the ones that are actually needed one two three one two three where we get the ferric chloride. This one will then be iron ore. Copy, 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 paste, paste, paste. Yes, and let's hook it up. There, easy. I also need a lot of lights for this, for sure. And also down here, down here as well. So far, so good. And in order to actually get it, there. Is it working? It is definitely not working. That's because it needs to be crushed. Oh, all right. All right, ideas were good, but execution, as always, failed a bit here. All right, I also think there's uh, quite a bit of work left because I'm gonna pipe this down and then I'm gonna transform it and then and so on and so forth. So I really need to make it into basic circuits, which I think I can make up here. Anyway, I think this, uh, this is where I stop this episode and we will continue in the next one. Thank you for joining and I will hope to see you in the next episode. Cheers, bye.